Hi guys, fan cams. We've got Dave next on. Uh, Dave, uh, two two. I suppose it's not a bad point in end when you look at it, especially probably with that. Uh, from what my point, second half performance. I don't think we're as good as the first. I thought we were second best in that second half, but uh, not a bad point really in end. A uh, fortunate point. Um, maybe fortunate. I I don't know. Um, Bristol City for me are one of these teams that we never seem to do well against. Obviously, it's uh, it's one of the local one of the local away games for me, and I've got friends that are Bristol City fans. So we, we, same as Cardiff, we never seem to do well in these games. And you know, for me, two two was a fantastic result today. Mm -hmm. um, the performance I thought was better than in recent weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of work to do, but things aren't going to change overnight. You know, uh, we've got these new players in, but we've got them in yeah. the last minute. Um, they need to, uh, you know, have time to settle. I think Murray's called the right um, the right first starting eleven today. Um, maybe the only difference I would have made maybe Thomas. He's an another one that's not impressed me. Mm. But I, th I think he's you know he's 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 pulled a good start in eleven really, and uh, we we we've set off out of the traps well. We've had we've had a great start. We really yeah. the first ten minutes absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to say, yeah, it worked. It, 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 back a little bit and let me go back to the game. Mm, that, worked, that seemed to be a problem that we didn't seem to have the same urgency in that second half, did we? Especially early on in second half, conceding two goals in space of five minutes, it's, 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 it weren't good, especially when we, I, were, I were quite impressed. I were overall really impressed with that first half and we just didn't really see it in second. Do you think maybe we've run ourselves to ground a little bit in that first half? Um, maybe I don't know. I just think it was it was a crazy first five minutes, wasn't it? It was mm. it was like a it was like a Laurel and Hardy sketch. Yeah, watching watching that defence and the two, especially for the first goal, uh, the set their second goal is extremely fortunate. It's, yeah, it's taken yeah. a ricochet and it's gone in. You know, but it, it's football. And this this thing happens. It's how you respond to that. And you know, we've we I think we've been semi positive in our response, but a lot of bad decision making today. And mm. you know, Thomas has had so much of the ball. You know, but he doesn't do anything with it. So I, it's an area we've got we've got to look at, I think. And um, I think Styles pulled up just before the game with an injury, so that's disrupted. Um, you know, po possibly Murray starting eleven. Yeah. But um, changes, and I think I think you know th things are looking up definitely, definitely looking up. Obviously, the way injury to Solbar is a big worry now, mm. um, both off the pitch and on the pitch. You know, uh, we wish him all the best. We hope it's not too serious. It didn't look too good from from the view I had, but mm. you know, obviously we, we, we wish him all the best, and hopefully it's not not too bad. But you know, obviously in a in another sense, it's going to have a knock-on effect to the team. It's going to, you know, we're going to have to have changes against Stoke in the week, mm. and not the sort of thing you want ten force changes straight away, is it? No, I mean, well, I'm going to say with Solbauer, it is a big, it is going to be a big blow because he's easily our best defender. Uh, in there, so I wish him all the best myself as well. I mean, it did look quite a serious one. To, to say it were only a yellow as well. Looking back at it, you know, I'm, I'm judging not judging not ref. I mean, fair enough, we got penalty, but for me, quite clearly, should have been more than more than a yellow. But uh, it's a well earned point, and I think we'd have all took a point, wouldn't we, before the game as well? Absolutely. I mean, you know, I say these games, you know, you, you got your teams where you never really. You do well against. I mean, it was eight years ago since we last beat Bristol City at Oakwell, yeah. and um, one, of, one of the games I was at, I used to come to all the Bristol City games because it's obviously, you know, they're one of the local teams down there, and I like to like to put one over on them. And I remember that game very well. But mm. it's bizarre how the, the game since of all ended two two at Oakwell. It's you know, it's weird. <laughs> it what, is. It what is. What else have you had today on another one? And, another another two two. Uh, yeah, I know. They're top I'm... of the league as well. They're top of the league, and it's it is. You know, it's a great point. Mm. It really is. A, I'm really. I'm happy. I am happy. Mm. I was going to say. I don't think we can be too hard, too hard on them. Maybe obviously, so, like you said, some decision making in that. Uh, second half, but I think there'll be changes for Wednesday. You know, Matty James didn't feature today because obviously he weren't signed in time. So I think a big, I think him coming in, he'll probably come in on Wednesday and, and probably sit in front at back four, maybe something like that. Um, but no, I can't fault it. And that, that first half definitely looked a lot more positive than how we normally do set off. You think back to when Strawberry, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the first half and everything, we didn't seem to have no energy. We looked like uh, a dog off, off the lead, really. We were very much up for it. Uh, and even Woodrow today, I thought, looked really good. Um, put himself about. And I think that is what we've missed as well from Corey. He's not looked as, as lively, you could say. 
Yeah, he's had some good touches today, and um, he obviously was unlucky for the first um, his first first effort that you know resulted in the corner that led to the goal. Yeah, and he's had a few shots that have been there or thereabouts, but I just think he needs you know to get that one goal from open play. Yeah, and I think his confidence is going to start flowing back. He's he's been up top today, and he's he's played really well there. Um, like you say, we've, we've got enforced changes, you know, for, for for the Stoke game, and I think there should be. Um, we're going to have to play four at the back for that instead of playing the, the three centre-backs and the two wing-backs. Mm. So we're going to have to change the formation. But, um, yeah, I think, um, you know, for me, there's got to be there's got to be a, a, a few changes in midfield. Um, I'm not sure how bad the injury to Styles is. Um, I've not, know, I've, no, I've like not heard how, how bad it is. I've not heard, but, but yeah. Um, Thomas, for me, has got to come out. He doesn't offer anything. Mm. You know, he's very. I'm sure he's got. Um, he's got the ability, but he, he just doesn't produce on the pitch. Mm. It was like watching, you know, watching Stephen Gerrard play for England. You know, he's got the ability, but he never <laughs> ever performed. No, and that's what I feel when I watch Thomas uh, Mowat today. For me, especially the first half, he was like a passenger. It was mm. like we were playing with ten men. He's had a couple of decent balls in the the second half, but he still always slows the game down. Mm. You know, and I know it's hard dropping your captain, but. Do you think it's, maybe it's time? <laughs> I, I, I think it's time. You know, I, I certainly would, you know, I'd be dropping Thomas for, for definite um, and bring in, you know, Styles in if he can play. Mm. Um, and I'd, I'd like to see Herbie Kane start. You know, I think it was a good call today starting him on the bench. He's only been here 24 hours. He doesn't know the, the, the players very well, the way they mm. play. You know, a few more training sessions under his belt. That'll all you know, be yeah, sorted yeah. out. Maybe bring him in, or, or you know, or Matty James, depending on what formation you're going to play. It's um, mm. oh. it's, uh, you know, it's down to Murray now what he's going to do with um, the enforced change in the the formation. So yeah. yeah, we do need to make some changes, and I think you know I, I, we are improving. I'm you know it's a lot better than the, the Middlesbrough game for me. The defence today was a little bit worrying. I am um, they've always been solid, you know, this season for me. In the back end of last season, I had a lot of defend, uh, a lot of confidence in the defence, mm. but today. Um, or oh, every time, um, every time Bristol City broke and it was just missing challenges, mm. the marking wasn't good. There was just some sloppy defending. It was it was worrying. Hopefully it's a one off. You know, mm. hopefully they can get back to how yeah, they played before. But you know, with the injury to Saul Bauer, it's 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 just going to cause problems. Well, it's going to cause disruption there. And it it, it is going to cause disruptions because so actually when we changed the system and everything, when Saul Bauer were playing out on that right, he would get he were doing a lot more than our, as attackers. And I think it was Thomas playing on that right as well. Yeah. He was sprinting football, doing a lot more with it. So he's going to be a big blow. And, uh, you know, like we said, we wish him all the best. Uh, but I think, I mean, I suppose to, like, it, oh, it does give us that option maybe to try something different in terms of the two centre-halves, if we were to go with two centre-halves, uh, which is what you mentioned. So maybe that could come in on Tuesday, but uh, sorry, Wednesday against Stoke. But I think it's going to be a tough place. Would you take a point again on Wednesday? Uh, at the moment, I would, yeah. Under the circumstances, uh, you know, Stoker, at the end of the day, is that saying about um, can they perform on a rainy, cold night in Stoke? And, <laughs> you know, the way the weather is at the moment, it's probably going to be a rainy, cold night, uh, yeah. rainy, cold night in Stoke. I definitely take a point. Um, did they win today? They were, I think they were two 0 up last time. They were, they were winning. Yeah, I need to uh, double check on all the results. I've, I've honestly like finished the live stream and then come straight up to do fan cams. But uh, no, obviously. I take a point away from home, you know, in any of the next three or four games, mm. and you know, preferably three points at home where we can. But we've got a, we've got a tough run coming up, mm. you know. But you know, we've got a point today against top of the league. It's fantastic. It's uh, it's a, it's a new start for us, new manager. Yeah. We've got new team, team players. Uh, if we can push on now and get a point at Stoke, you know, that's a little bit of consistency that creeps in. And then you know, who knows who knows what can happen, you know. Another defeat and it'll bring up the confidence a little bit. But if we can get a point, I'd be I'd be more than happy with a point on yeah. Wednesday. More than happy. Be a good point. Uh, all right then, Dave. Well, pleasure talking to you, and I'll uh, probably speak to you on uh, jury week and everything like that uh, leading up to the game. And uh, yeah, that was Dave, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, Dave, I'll uh, speak to you soon then, mate. All right. All right. Take care, mate. Same to you, mate. Ta-ra.